everybody, and welcome to this week's How To Tuesday. I am sitting with one of the legends of sport fishing, Bouncer Smith. We're sitting in his Miami apartment. We're looking over the city and looking over the, the ocean, and we have just done a full-length podcast, which is going to be coming to you very soon. But we are also going to go into a How To Tuesday today about how to set the drag for saltwater game fish. Bouncer has a way that he likes to do it and likes to instruct his customers, and he's going to share it with us today. Bouncer? The first thing to do when you're setting your drag is to acquire some kind of a hand skill. You want to set your drag so that your rod is pointed straight at a hand skill. The hand skill is fastened into your fishing line, and your line is running through the guides on your rod. But you want to point it straight at the scale. And for most fishing, your scale should read 20% of the line strength when the drag is slipping. So if I'm pulling back on my spinning rod, you're holding the scale. we got 20-pound test. It should say four pounds of drag, whether it's a spinning rod, a casting rod, a bottom fishing rod, whatever it is, 20% of the pound test. So a 20-pound test is four pounds of drag. What will happen with that is, is as you raise the rod, the drag will increase. And by the time it's a 45-degree angle, it'll be somewhere in the neighborhood of six pounds of drag because of the friction over the guides and the effort to bend the rod. So that is how you can fight a fish with that drag. Again, it's pulling straight against the scale, 20% of the strength, and by the time you raise the rod, it'll be 25%. Now, that's for game fish, sailfish, bonefish, open water fish. And when you've got a fish on, you want to remember that if he's just pulling away and you're trying to get the drag, the hook to set into his jaw, you want to hold the rod up about 45 degrees. But if that fish takes off on a blistering run, point your rod right straight at him then you've only got four pounds of drag. You don't want maximum pressure when he's going crazy. And if you have a lever drag reel, you might even pull it back a couple of clicks. Let him go, especially if you get lower on line because the drag tightens. If it's a spinning reel, remember that you loosen the drag three clicks on the on the drag lever. You'll feel click, I mean, on the spool knob, you'll feel click, click, click. And then after he gets done with that crazy run and you start to get some line back on the reel, you can go click, 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 and you're back where you were. So that's open water fish. If you're setting your drag for snook in the mangroves or groupers on a wreck, uh, you might want to go 25% of the pound test at pulling straight away which will give you close to 30% when you raise up. Now, this doesn't work good on a long, blistering run, but it's very effective when you've got to stop that fish from getting into the cover. And a really good tip on that same idea is when that fish is running for cover and you can't stop him, open your bail or free spiel your reel. That fish is charging towards him in danger. You open your bail, he thinks he got away, so... I go back to looking for food. He'll turn around and leave right away from his tree to swim back out and take up station in the current to breathe or whatever. It's an amazing thing, but it happens all the time. We actually do it when we hook too many billfish on reels at the same time. We're getting low on line. You'd think, tighten the drag, you open the bale. And the fish will stop running offline so fast because all of a sudden he doesn't fight the tension. That's what they fight the tension. On the topic of setting your drags, I'm sitting at my steering wheel driving the boat while an angler is fighting a fish. And I'm watching the rod. Now, I use all rods that are all four spinning rods of the same bend, basically the same model blank. And if you really want to be good at helping your kids or your spouse or your friends fight fish with your guidance, take your snap swivel or a hook and hook it onto a chain link fence, which has got some give to it. Then set your, or first you set your drag, 20%, 25 with a bent. You hook onto the chain link fence and have somebody raise up on the rod to where the drag starts to go at a 45 degree angle. Now, when a fish is fighting, you know what that rod looks like bent. 
if it's bent too much, you know, to tell them to back off the drag a little bit. If it's not bent enough, you tell them you got to take that drag up a couple of clicks because you're not finding enough drag to beat that fish in a reasonable length of time. So now you've set your drag 20% straight off of the spool. You know what your rod looks like when it's bent, and you know to back off the drag when the fish is running really hard, and you know to loosen the drag if you get low on line. All those things will help you catch more fish. Awesome tips. Man, how to set your drag, and that's worked for you for 52 years? Yes, it does. It works really good. <laughs> that awesome. Knowing your rod, though, is really important to help you guide other people in what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Awesome tips. Thanks, Bouncer. Appreciate My pleasure, it. for sure.